is your Tales of Terror host. I'm here with my favorite mummy and mommy, Nefertiti the Nefarious. <laughs> Who? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Mummyhood is not what it's cracked up to be. What do you mean? You're great with the little demons. You try breastfeeding when you're 2,000 years old. <laughs> you think the pyramids are impressive? My dusty nips are like leather. <laughs> I'm lucky if I can get two tablespoons out a day. Wow, well you're a hero to all young monsters. Thanks, from those creepy little lips to Isis's ears. <laughs> you know, it's not even the little ones that are the troublemakers. It's the older ones. Mm. The toddler's a little too old to breastfeed. Try telling my 500-year-old to back it up. Well, I guess time doesn't heal all wounds. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang girl, is that ring real? Well, it ain't no ring pop. <laughs> Family jewels. Ooh. Mummyhood might be rough on the nips. <laughs> But we've got a lot of good shit back at our crib. That's true. Your crib is a 13 out of 13 on the creeptastic scale. It is both elegant and terrifying. A lifelong curse isn't so bad when it comes with a trust fund. <laughs> Being a mummy is, dare I say, pretty rich. <laughs> well said. Well, let's take a look at the top 13 coolest crypts. 13. In Alexandria, Egypt, there are a series of tombs that go down a depth of over a hundred feet. This wealthy family requested them be built, and they were soon forgotten until 1900, when a donkey fell through the access shaft. <laughs> Nothing like an ass leading you to the shaft. <laughs> 12. Skull Tower was built using the skulls of Serbs killed during a battle in 1809. 952 skulls were collected and mounted in a 15-foot tall tower as a warning to whoever opposed the empire. I don't know about you, but I walk up to a 15-foot tower of skulls and I think, is it shaped like a Christmas tree? Or like a straight, you know, pole? It could be a little festive. Do I want to get the garland out? Or do I run out of it? <laughs> 11. Located in the Czech Republic, it's estimated to hold the remains of more than 50,000 people, making it the second largest site in Europe. It was established in 17th century and was forgotten until its discovery in 2001. Can you imagine going for a hike and coming across that place? Like, oh, I, I think I see something. Is that water? Oh no, it's, it's 50,000 corpses. <laughs> 10. In central Dublin, beneath the 17th century church, dry, cool air and limestone walls have led to the mummification of many of its bodies. Among the preserved are four mystery corpses, nicknamed the Thief, the nun, the unknown, and the crusader. The fingers of these corpses, visitors can touch for good luck. Others found here include a few centuries of earls, executed Irish rebels, author of Dracula, Bram Stoker, paid a visit here once, and Handel composed the Messiah on the organs upstairs. Nine. Here you will find a series of underground galleries and tombs that date back from the 4th to the 9th centuries AD. The 24 catacombs, which cradle the tombs of more than 1,000 dead, show evidence of pagan, Jewish, and Christian burials side by side. Wait a minute, I think that's like that classic joke. A pagan, a rabbi, and a priest all walk into a bar and... And then they get struck by lightning and, and buried in the same catacomb together. <laughs> Classic. Eight. A series of ladders will lead you to the creepy catacombs of Paris. In 1786, the cemeteries were overflowing and the government decided to move the corpses to the abandoned stone quarries in and around the capital in the final resting place of approximately six million people. Seriously, it's like a Megadeth album cover. <laughs> the Skull Chapel in Poland was built in 1776 by a local priest. The chapel serves as a mass grave for nearly 25,000 people who died during the three Sicilian wars between Prussia and Austria, as well as folks who died from outbreaks of cholera and hunger. The priest led the effort to collect the remains and put them in the chapel. In fact, the walls and basements are filled with skulls and bones. The remains of those who built the chapel 
are placed in the center of the church as an altar. Apparently in olden days, when you ran out of wood, there were plenty of human remains to go around. Can you imagine what hardware stores must have looked like in the olden days? I'll take a bag of steaks, a couple of slats of wood, and oh, 15 skulls over there. Put on my scroll. <laughs> Six. Below the monastery of San Francisco, catacombs are filled with skulls and bones. Hold up, wait a minute. Is anyone else seeing this pattern here of burying dead people under monasteries? <laughs> Just look, these catacombs were established under the following monastery's construction in 1774 and remained in use until 1808. And again, soon forgotten until their rediscovery in 1943. There are an estimated 70,000 individual remains within the narrow hallways and deep holes. Hmm, I don't know about you, but cremation for me is looking better and better. <laughs> Five. The small chapel ghoulishly displays 1,200 skulls. It came about in the 12th century when the neighboring cemetery became filled to capacity. Cremation at the time was forbidden, so bodies would be buried for about 15 years, then exhumed and placed in the chapel. The skulls were also painted with a floral crown. This began in 1720 in a gesture similar to placing flowers on a grave. I'm pretty sure the misfits played their first show here. <laughs> they even came up with their hit song, Skull. <laughs> right, Scully? It's a good one. <laughs> Four. This crypt in Portugal gets its name from the human skulls and bones that cover its interior walls. The chapel was built in the 1500s by a Franciscan monk who wanted his fellow monks to meditate hard on life's delicate nature. The message is driven home by some 5,000 skeletons collected from nearby churches as well as the words by the chapel's entrance. We the bones that are here await yours. You know, I think I also heard that quote in a Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> one, two, maybe it was four. Yeah. Three. You can find the remains of 8,000 people in the cold, dry basement of the Capuchin Monastery in Italy. When the monastery outgrew its cemetery in 1599, they dug a big hole beneath the building. Now, if you're ever looking somewhere to take the kiddos on vacation, skip Disney, skip Florida, head on over to this place, because guess what? It's open to the public. Why get a picture with Mickey or Minnie? We can get a picture with a mummified corpse. <laughs> Two. In a small chapel in the Czech Republic, this crypt has a whole lot of skeletons, between 40 and 70,000 in fact. Some bones are arranged to form decorations, including a chandelier of bones. These ghoulish designs are the handiwork of a 19th century woodcarver who had been hired by an aristocratic family to arrange the bones, which had been interned since 1511. Now that is a decorating technique I can get behind. However, their air freshening bill must be outrageous. <laughs> One. Members of the Royal Habsburg line, Austria's first family for many a century, can be found here. You see, first their bodies were laid to rest in the imperial city. Their hearts wound up in an urn in the Augustine church. Their intestines were sealed in jars beneath the crypt. More than 70 of these macabre repositories can be found, and not too far from the bones and rabble. The cathedral offers guided tours past the ossified walls and guts-filled jars. Maybe I'm wrong about cremation. I want to do it like the rich people do it. Jars of guts. <laughs> Thanks for watching the 13 coolest crypts. Which was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at EerieWebs. Check out the store for merch. <laughs> but you know, it's not even the little ones. It's the big ones that are the worst. A toddler might be a little too old to breastfeed. Mm. My 5,000 year old. Oh shit, I just went from 2,500. <laughs> I just really aged myself. <laughs> <laughs> Try telling my 500 year old to lay oh, off. Stay in my <laughs> Sorry. No, I like my food. It's good. It's good. Try telling my 500 bajillion year old. <laughs> okay. You just start where it works.